Hello everyone, welcome to another reaction. This is to a band um, that I think a lot of people quite like. I know I've heard kind of good things, but I, I, it's Knock Loose. Um, I've listened to Knock Loose before, in fact. I first heard about them around 2016 with the song Billy No Mates, which did lead me to believe that they were a British band, because Billy No Mates is a term that, um, as a kid, I was subject to, and it's basically someone who doesn't have any friends, and um, hasn't changed much now that I'm in my 30s. But, um... That's not what we're uh, what we're here to talk about. It's not fucking loose. They got a new album out in May titled "You Won't Go Before You're Supposed To," which is a really cool and ominous album name. I've listened to pretty much all their stuff. I even uh, listened to their EP that they dropped in 2021, I think. That really weird and awesome experimental thing that they did that was fucking cool. And <clears throat> this is uh, one of the songs uh, titled "Don't Reach for Me" that they're releasing for the new album uh, out next month. And um, I think it's worth pointing out that I'm listening to the song version, so if you want to check out the actual song, there'll be a link in the description below, and there'll be one for the music video as well. And, um, uh, yeah, just go and watch that and go and listen to it before you come back and watch me be a moron and talk about it. And, yeah, I usually always try and find the song version unless I don't have any other option. Uh, luckily, I did have that option this time. Um, but... Yeah, I can't really think of much other time to waste. Um, also, like, obviously, if there's just any content you're not comfortable with, then feel free to skip over this one. Um, but most important thing is that you've listened to the song before you listen to uh, before you've watched me react to it. Um, but with that being said, we're gonna get into it and uh, see how it's gonna go. It's probably gonna be really fucking good because Nogless have been killing it lately, especially with Deep in the Willow. Oh my god, what a fucking song that is! So, uh, yeah, let's go. Right away with the stomp and drums. <laughs> I dream of a clenching wave! Rainbow! Down! Brace! Fire! Oh, oh, fuck. Really fast paced punk shots running there. That's a good blast beat. Ah, damn it. Oh, fucking hell, that was good. That's a really good turn on the base, too. Holy shit. The tone, though. I'm saying this is a chorus. There is actually a lyrics in this that might help. Saw that, saw that one coming. Palm screen though. That's a good line though, when your arms too weak to weak to weak to reach for God don't reach for me. Oh, okay. I just now realize it was like this just bass and drums. Something new. Oh. Oh that's very tall that like creepy guitar thing. I like how it's keeping things uncertain. I was a bit off again. Fucking chorus too. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's good double base work. Dun -dun 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 -dun. That's a good stump. Dun, dun. Oh, I, I like that they ended that with that creepy guitar thing that was happening. Oh, oh fuck, that's gonna be something that kicks into like a monster track afterwards when the album actually comes out. Fuck yeah, though. I mean, talk about how much a band has improved. Like, I liked Left Tracks and I liked A Different Shade of Blue. Um, but, you know, I haven't really gone back over those albums as much as I'd like. But yeah, this album, it might be fucking amazing. I mean, it probably will be when it comes out. I just can't wait, because Noclips have just absolutely been killing it over the past couple of years. I really think that they've started to forge their own identity, which is very, very important. And um, it's going to be one of the bigger releases of the year, I would say. I mean, it's up there with Currents from last year for me, with uh, The Death We Seek, you know. Another band who improved massively since they first formed, and, you know, dropped two really good albums, and then The Death We Seek just transcending everything they've done. I feel like your uh, You Won't Go Before You're Supposed To will probably be that. Uh, when it drops, and I really, really hope it is. And I hope it's not just, like, me buying into the hype I'm building for the album, but yeah, it's gonna be really fucking good. Uh, I just have a really good feeling. Amazing production as well, I didn't really go over that. Good lyricism, a really good lyrical theme um, about uh, not, you know, some sort of a religious thing, which I actually quite like, you know, it's mostly just what I gleaned from the main course line. Um, fucking good pacing as well. It always went to these different places, but it didn't really leave you feeling confused. It didn't leave me feeling that confused. Um, band performances are great. I loved the bass tone especially. Like, the drums and, like, um, main guitars were really, really good. Vocals were quite good too. Um, but, like, the bass tone was fucking incredible, and you don't really get that with a lot of modern-day metalcore. Uh, good pace, good production, fucking amazing stuff, and, uh, if you, again, if you haven't checked it out already, make sure you've fucking done that, because, yeah, it was really good shit. That'll about do it for me, though, the next thing you will see me for will be tonight, break even, my next pay-per-view, cards all sorted, arrangements been made, that's gonna be a lot of fun, that's gonna be some good shit, so, um, and yeah, the next thing after that should probably be a Friday Night Review on Sunday, that's really all I can think of to plug. So as always, thank you for watching your awesome. Bye-bye.